At the MLB trade deadline, the Mets sell their second ace as Justin Verlander rejoins the Astros. Just before the MLB trade deadline, Justin Verlander is back with the Astros, making it a Houston reunion. Max Scherzer was previously traded by the Mets to the Texas Rangers because their 2023 season hasn't gone as planned. According to MLB Pipeline, the top prospect for the Astros is outfielder Drew Gilbert, while the fourth best prospect in the team's minor league system is outfielder Ryan Clifford. The whole transaction, which has been made public, includes Verlander and financial considerations. The Mets are allegedly paying Verlander's deal a total of $35.5 million over the following two years as part of those monetary considerations. Verlander will receive an additional $17.5 million if he chooses to exercise his 2025 option for that season. Verlander's two-year, $86.67 million contract, which includes a no-trade provision, required him to consent to the return to Houston, just like it did for Scherzer. Verlander granted the go-ahead to move the contract toward moving to the familiar Houston franchise in 2022, where he just won the Cy Young Award and the World Series. By matching Scherzer's three-year, $130 million contract, which he signed last season to go to Queens, and his $43.3 million annual average value, the Mets acquired the 40-year-old Verlander this winter. The Mets have now parted ways with the two most expensive players in league history per year as owner Steve Cohen focuses on developing his youthful core. Gilbert, who was selected by the Mets with the 28th overall choice in the 2022 MLB draft, joins the collection of prospects they acquired in recent high-profile transactions. In the Scherzer transaction, Luis Angel Acua, Ronald Acua Jr.'s younger brother, was acquired. The New York Mets have a payroll of $344 million, which is higher than the next closest team, the New York Yankees, who have $278 million, but they are at the bottom of the NL East this season. Verlander is in his 19th MLB season, and despite not pitching to his Cy Young potential this year, he still has a 3.15 era over 94.1 innings. His skills are required since the Astros rotation, which includes rotation pitchers Jose Urquidy, Luis Garcia, and Lance McCullers Jr., all of whom are on the 60-day disabled list, has the fifth best team era in MLB, 3.82. Verlander was moved to Houston during the 2017 season while still playing for the Detroit Tigers, and he enjoyed tremendous success there. With the Astros, Verlander has a 2.26 era and 652 innings pitched over five seasons with 825 strikeouts.